to my brother Riley for getting his pilot's license. Where the Riley! Where the hell is that motherfucker? To my father's black card, to my black card. God, I haven't done Sambuca since I was 20 years old. <laughs> yeah! Fucking passed out. Hold the door! Yo, Jason, get in! Get in! Nice fucking phone. So, <clears throat> what do we have here? Grant and Jason from California, huh? Well, I hope you remind mind. Your papa really, really love you because you two white boys, you look very expensive, and that's good because I like expensive things. I'm sorry. What did you say? What did you say? Do you want me to slice you open like I did your friend? Shut the fuck up! Okay? I'm the one with the fucking dick! Look at me. Look me in the fucking eye. Hey! You fuck! Look me in the eye! You're my bitch. I rule this fucking kingdom. Shut the fuck up, or you die. What is it, Jason? Jason, what is it? Why aren't you laughing now like you did up there? But is this not fun anymore? Have I failed to entertain you? You see, the thing is, up there, you thought you had a chance. Way up in the fucking skies, you thought you had your finger on the pussy trail. But hermano, down here. Down here. You hit the ground. <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna relax, because you, Wa, your top guy brother, we're gonna have a lot of fun together when we wait for the money. Stop scaring the hostages. I need you to take care of the rejects. I just hope that you two pieces of fox are more entertaining than your friends. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Get you every fucking time, man.
We can only accept your status as a U.S. citizen as we have no official records regarding your Karate citizenship. Furthermore, I must legally advise you against traveling into Karat. We have no official diplomatic presence in Karat due to the civil unrest with the Golden Path. In regards to your intent to bring with you the cremated remains of one Ishwari Gale, you'll need to bring with you the passport for the deceased. Passport. about this. This was supposed to be... Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you, but I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Hmm? Is this your plus one? <laughs> Strong, silent type. I like it. I am terribly embarrassed about all of this. This was supposed to be... Very simple, but you know, if you get food to monkeys, they just throw their shit at each other. You know. Oh, would you hold this? For just a moment, I want to get a little picture right into the camera. There we are. Awesome. Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us, and we'll be off on a grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up! Oh! 
Should I stay or should I go? Well, you give my congratulations to Ashley on your next visit home. I must say, Paul, your little corner of Kiratu is rather beautiful. I expected more. You know, chains and wailing, but knowing you, somewhere around here is a dark place where the secrets flow like the blood. <laughs> that wry smile betrays you again, Diplom. <laughs> Well, go on, take the bloody bag off his head! Again, terribly sorry for what happened before. This is more what I had in mind. So, fresh start. Introductions. R.J. Gale, our guest of honor. Paul, our very gracious host. The little monkey, whose name I still don't know. And I, of course, am Pagan Men. You really don't remember me, do you? Your mother, she never spoke of me, never mentioned me. No. We'll change all that. All I need cash. Uh, how much do you need? All of it. Thank you. Here we are. Hmm? All right. With this, with the smile. <clears throat> That's you. That's me. Although I'm not so sure anymore. Now, your mother, your mother on the other hand, she understood me. She knew me in a way that no one ever did. That takes me back. The last time I saw Ishwari was years ago. She told me she loved me. Women, they can do that. They can tell you they love you in the moment and mean it. Men, on the other hand, no, men only really love you. In hindsight, and too much distance is built up. So, when your mother decided to flee to the United States with you on her hip, I couldn't help but blame myself. But then I realized, it's not me. No, it was the fucking golden path. <laughs> Those fucking terrorists, they ruin everything. Like dinner. Did no one ever teach you that it's rude to text at the table? Let's see it. It be bum. Really, guys, we're not checking for these anymore? Ah, I'm with R.J. Gale. You'll love this part. Help. <laughs> a text for help. You don't text for help, you cry for help. So come on, you're gonna cry for help. You're gonna do something, you're gonna do it right. Here we go. Go on, cry for help. Cry for help. Help? Oh, pathetic. No, cry for help. Help! You mean it, boy. Help! help! From your diaphragm! Help! 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 Shh, 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 shh. Now we listen. Nothing. I'm afraid they're not coming for you, buddy. <laughs> oh! We'll find out what he knows. Terrorists, right? Now... Please, stay right here. Enjoy the crab rangoon. Don't move. I will be right back. Yuma, we need to talk. Montana. Big sky country. The treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state. Built right here. Under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. The government can't do shit. 
We're on our own. Friends, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. Some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. How? Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the Father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. Hey, Rookie. Rookie. Wasting your time. There's no signal out here. Crossing over the hand bank now. Church, stick close. Eyes open. These folks can spook easily. Rook, on me. Stay loose, huh? What are they doing here? Be calm. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you. Sheriff, I don't like this. Everything's fine, Nancy. Everything's just fine. Jesus Christ. You're wearing badges, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't respect badges much in here. They'll respect the nine millimeter. Not every club can be solved with a Marshal. What are they doing Oh, Marshal. We 
do this. We do it my way. Quietly. Calmly. You got it? Fine. Hudson on the door. Watch our backs. Don't let any of these people get in. Rookie? On me. And you? Just... Try not to do anything stupid. Relax, Sheriff. You're about to get your name in the paper. You'll be fine. Something is coming. You can feel it, can you? We are creeping toward the edge. And there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Because we know what happens next. They will come. They will try to take from us, take our guns, take our freedom, take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, come on. Hold on we will not let their greed, or their immorality, or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff, you know, there will be no more there. suffering. Oh, fuck it. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. Here they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. moment would come, and we've prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. I saw when the Lamb opened the first seal, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, Come and see. Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was a white horse. And hell followed with him. Rookie, cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me. on him. Sometimes the best thing to do is to walk away. Let's go. I'm ordering you to stand back. 